What's going on, guys? Jesse Rush from uh, Flynn Got Bows. <clears throat> well, I told you I'd be doing a U build along. I ordered some bow wood from Medicine Bow Woods, and it finally showed up today. So let's uh, check it out. This is a stave. I've got one longbow stave of U wood, and I've got one practice U wood stave, and I've got a vine maple stave. So let's go ahead and check these guys out, shall we? Let's open it up. I told you I'm going to do a complete build along from start to finish, and this is the beginning. The guy from Medicine Bow Woods, Dave, was a really, really good guy. And uh, it was my birthday present, and he knew that, so he hooked me up with an extra piece of vine maple for no charge. And he threw in a practice stave of you for no charge. Which I thought was an incredibly nice thing to do. Um, considering we didn't have to do that. Let me get a sharper knife. This is a homemade knife that I made out of a uh, out of a uh, file. And uh, I'm able to put a really sharp tip on it because of that. And on top of here we're looking at the vine maple. I want to make sure not to damage any of the wood, obviously. sure what this is. It's an envelope. It kind of looks like an envelope. Yes, it is. So let's see what the envelope has in it first. The envelope says a piece of paper inside. Medicine Bow Woods. Item U bow stave included is a U practice stave and a vine maple stave, no charge. Thank you for shipping with FedEx, trapping number. I'd like to thank you, Dave Robertson, um, from Medicine Bow Woods. Uh, you guys can check out these staves. They're really cheap, and he's, he's a good guy. At uh, medicinebowwoods.com. Try to hold this steady so you can see it. medicinebowwoods.com and uh, alright well thank you very much Dave Robertson and uh, let's continue opening this on the outside here looks like it's the uh, the premium U stave that I ordered Oh yeah, sweet. It's not a big bulky stave, which is good. And the practice stave actually looks pretty nice. Oh wait, this is the practice stave, the smaller one. Okay. Wow, let's check this out. It actually looks like I could definitely make a bow out of both of these. So here, stay there. This is the practice U stave. Um, it's beautiful. There's one pin knot right here, and a knot right there, and it's 44 inches from here down. And it's 33 inches from here up. But besides that, there's really nothing wrong with this U-stave. I'm impressed. I definitely can make a bow out of this. Um, I could make this the handle. And I could make it a non-bending handle. I could also stick a plug in here of hardwood. Glue it in. Drill this out real good and glue it, a plug in that fits it. And just work it like it's regular wood. So, Dave Robertson, thank you very much because this is actually a very nice piece of view that I can make a longbow out of. It's very long. It may not be a heavy-duty longbow. It's kind of thin in some spots. It's got nice sapwood. It's very beautiful. I'll, I'll pick the camera up here and take a look at it, a better look at it here in a second. Let's set this up here. 
Here is the vine maple stave that he threw in for free, um, which I'm very impressed with. It's very nice and straight for vine maple. Vine maple, um, from everything I've read about it, it's a very crooked wood. So I'm kind of impressed that it came this nice and straight. It's very good wood. I'm very impressed. Here, I'll let you have a good look at the vine maple. This is a vine maple stave. It's got a couple of little knots, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay with knots. I'm actually kind of good at working with them. And uh, from what I hear, vine maple performs a lot like hickory as it's very forgiving. So if you violate a growth ring on the back of it, it's kind of okay as long as you sand it out. That's what I've heard. So this is vine maple. Very, very, very cool. I'm very happy with that. And this is the premium U stave, stave number 146. Let's see what else you... Oh, very cool. He sent me a little booklet on how to build some things. Or no, I'm sorry. He sent me a booklet on um, other things that he has, like a catalog. Let me see here. He's got his U and Vine Maple bow staves. That's all he sells is U and Vine Maple, but that's okay. They're both very, very good, very good, very good, good woods. Some of the best. The only thing I don't, you know, the next best is Osage. He sells Ocean Spray Arrow Shafts. Red osier raw arrow shafts. He makes cedar bark arrow quivers. He sells spoke shaves. Um, oh, it's it's a bow making scraper. Combines the features of a spoke shave and a cabinet scraper. But um, so this is the catalog I received. Very 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 cool. Very cool. Very very cool. Awesome. All right, let's check out the premium U stave here. Go ahead and pull this guy out. This is the one that I actually ordered. I mean, threw in the others for free. It's because he's a nice guy. I'm going to go ahead and put on some uh, gloves. U wood is poisonous. I don't know how highly poisonous, um, but I'm somewhat of a hypochondriac and I like safety. So. I have kids too that I play with and I don't want to, you know, wipe a booger out of their nose with my bare hand and poison them with you. I don't know. I could be going overboard with you. Please feel free to comment and let me know as this is my first time messing with any of you. But, uh, so there's the premium stave. It is about 74 inches long practice stave I think might be a little longer yeah practice stave is about four inches longer <laughs> let me show you the difference from the side view here on the practice stave versus the premium stave the practice stave has a little bend to it and it has this one knot the premium stave and obviously the practice stave is much thinner you couldn't make but maybe a youth bow out of this or maybe a short bow, I might be able to make like a really short bow from here down, 44 inch bow, back it with sinew. But, uh, there's the difference. You see we've got a lot of sapwood on here. You know, at the smallest end, probably a quarter inch. In the center here we've got like a half inch of sapwood. Um, this one has like a quarter inch all the way across. Very, very nice. I'm very impressed with this U-Wood. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to get the camera and bring it over here and show you a little better. At all the staves here. But let me move some of my previous bows that I'm working on out of the way. Alright. Here's the vine maple. We'll go over all of these guys. Alright, let me grab this camera real quick. All right, so this is the premium U stave, and it is U stave number 146 off of 
Medicine Bow's website. And it is beautiful. Let me move some of these tools. Sorry. Alright. I'm very happy with this stave. There's a knot here that will be cut out. It won't be anywhere near my bow. My bow is going to be way up in here. Um, there's another knot, pin knot here. That nothing, no big deal. <clears throat> um, well, not pin knots. They're actually knots, but they're very small knots. There's a knot. Won't be in the stave. There's a knot. Won't be in the stave. Stave's gonna, you know, especially out here, it's gonna be down to here. You know, it's gonna completely clear that knot. Um, there's a knot, but it won't be anywhere near the stave, or near the bow. I mean, there's another knot, nowhere near. You know, down here at the ends, it's gonna be almost pure sapwood. So, I mean, it's not gonna be anywhere near it. This is a beautiful stave. Let's go ahead and have a look at the bark, the front of the stave, the back of the bow, if you will. It's nice and wide. It's much wider than I needed it to be for a long bow. Um, God, that's beautiful. And here we have the outer bark, and then there's the under bark. Very cool. We have a little damage right there. But that won't be in the stave. The stave's going to be in the middle here. It's not going to be anywhere near the stave. There's really no twist at all to speak of. Uh, there's a tiny bit of twist up here at the top, but it's going to get so small up there that it's not a big deal. Um, if you can see it, there's a little bit of twist. See, I want to hold it sideways. You can't see the other side, but when I hold it this way, you can see the side. But that's nothing. It's no big deal at all. That I won't even have to steam that. That'll probably come out at, when it's strung. Very, very, very nice. U stave. It's got a little character to it. A little wobbly, but not bad. All in all, very good U stave. I don't see any pin knots or any knots on the back of the bow at all. That might be a little pin, but they're nothing, nothing to worry about. Yep, nothing. Oh, let's flip it over and look at, whoops, look at the bottom of it here, or the top, whichever I decide to make it. It's a little damage in the bark. But I do not think there's any damage to the actual sapwood. See this line? You may not be able to see it there. Maybe you can see it now. You see the line? Goes up through it there. I don't think it's a big deal though. And uh, it's looking really beautiful. There's a little funky spot right here. But again, it doesn't go into the sapwood just through the bark, which is okay, I'm removing the bark. As you can see here, the bark is nice and thick, and then this apple is really nice and thick. And that'll be the color of the wood once I wax it and finish the bow. It will turn like a reddish color, which is beautiful. And, uh, I really like that red and white pop right there. So there it is. There's the use stave. And what will happen to this is I'll probably gently take some wood off with a, you know, I'll mark out where my bow is going to be and then I'll take a hatchet and I'll gently, very carefully, hatchet some wood. I'll measure it and find the center. Then I'll gently start at the center and take a hatchet and just bring it down a little bit not much you know I'll take like an inch out of the board all the way down and give me a flatter surface to work with get this point off of here and then I will put it in the shaving horse once it's down closer to like this practice stave is I will stick it into the shaving horse that I have here this guy 
it'll go like this. Here, let me show you. It'll stick in there like that. Like that. And then you sit up here, and you take your draw knife, and you remove wood gently. Um, and you form the bow out of it. And uh, what I will probably end up doing is trying to make a bow out of this stave first. This, this practice stave, the smaller stave that he sent me. And, um, which I actually was expecting a much more damaged stave. I was expecting it to be very messed up. I was expecting it to have knots all over it, which it doesn't. Looks like it might have a knot right there. I don't really see any knots on the back of it. There's something here, a pin knot. No big deal. Um, what else? That's pretty much it, guys. Oh, there's a little knot right there. Knots are okay, though. I know how to work through knots. I've watched a lot of videos. I've built several bows. My hickory longbow has got 13 knots on the back of it. As long as you're careful and you don't violate any of the knots, you'll be okay. Anyway, so there you have it. There's my U staves and my vine maple stave. Let's check out the vine maple a little closer, too. Here's my vine maple stave. Here's the back of it as we move on down. That'll be the back of the bow. I'm going to make a flat bow out of this one for sure. And there is the belly of the bow. And it'll have a little bit of curve to it, but that's normal with vine maple. Very normal. I've expected that, and that's okay.